Welcome everyone, Farmer Cobb here. This is going to be a guide to the mobile utilities mod by Yas Modding, good friend of the channel. Um, and this video honestly is overdue, so I'm glad I'm doing it now. Um, this mod now in its current state, the most up-to-date state that it has currently, has five different um, things in it. That, and this is for all platforms, but it has five different options in it that kind of help you uh, make selling or different things um, easier around your farm and make things honestly really easy to do. Um, Yas has a lot of really good mods. Most of them are for all platforms um, that you can check out, um, including the liftable, uh, liftable pallets mod, which allows you to essentially have super strength to move pallets around on console. But let's take a look at what's in this pack. So if we go in here, the things we're going to take a look at um, under factories here, we have the mobile utilities, uh, mobile wood warehouse. Under selling stations, we have the Mobile bale sell point, the mobile selling station, and again, you place these all out just like this, and the mobile wood sell point, and then finally, under containers, we have the mobile buying station. So uh, those are what we're gonna take a look at today, starting with um, the mobile buying station, which is this little guy right here. So what this does is allows you to transport a lime solid fertilizer and seeds around. So if I walk up to it, I'm gonna open up my help menu here. If I come up to it, it says R to refill cell. So if I R, it's gonna bring me in here, it will hold lime, liquid fertilizer, seeds, herbicide, solid fertilizer, and then back to lime there. So there's a lot of different things that it's gonna hold in here. Um, there's already some stuff that's put in here right now, but again, you can go back through here and you could purchase, um, let's say I wanted to purchase 5,000 liters of that. I can put it in there and there we go, it's in there. And you can see right down there, bottom right-hand corner, it shows me what's in there right now. The other way to load this up is if I back a trailer up to it, if I actually put, um, let's just put some seeds or something in here. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Let's get some seeds in here or something. It doesn't matter really, as long as it's one of those options. Yeah, there we go. Fill this up with seeds. If I back up to it, I get the eye to unload so I can unload some in here. Just put a little in there and then I'm gonna stop. Um, and just like that. Um, so what's the benefit of that? Well, this thing's loaded up and I can take this. I can pick this up. I don't have super strength on. So there's some stuff I'm not gonna be able to lift today and I'll show you that so you can see that I don't have super strength on. I'm able to move this around and do whatever I want to do with it. Um, you can put it in like the back of a pickup truck and transport it that way. Just be aware it's not going to strap down so this doesn't work with straps. But if you have it in a container that's going to do, uh, be able to hold it in there, it should be fine. But then I take it out to my field and I come up next to my cedar here. I get in here. Well, the cedar doesn't have any fertilizer in it. Now it has fertilizer in it. If I back up just a little bit here, I probably can get closer to the seed tank and maybe theoretically here. Of course, it's not gonna work for me now. I might just have to get out of its range there just a second and then come back in uh, for seeds here. Let's see. There we go. I finally got somewhere where it'll take the seeds in. Um, and it didn't fill it all the way up because I think I knocked it over there. But regardless of that, you could get out and fill it up. But the benefit is this is an easy way to transport um, things around. I believe the capacity is 100,000 liters. Let's take a look in here. Yeah, 100,000 liter capacity. But again, you could have one for every single different thing you want. You can have as many of these as you want on your farm. Only 500 bucks to have. You can see all those are showing up on the screen once you get close. So just be aware of that. But yeah, you can move these guys around and do whatever you want to do with them. So there you guys go. That is the mobile buying station. Very cool. As we continue on here, we have the mobile bail cell point. You can move this wherever you'd like to. Again, you just place it down by going into here. Going under production, sell points at the very end, it's $500 to buy. You can place it wherever you'd like. And what it does is allows you to sell different materials that bales will be made out of. So here I have a, a hay bale, grass, or excuse me, hay bale, straw bale, silage bale, and a grass bale. I can't lift these, they're too heavy. So instead of having to load these up and move them somewhere to sell, I can take this, and all you have to do with this guy, you can lift it without super strength. You saw I couldn't lift those bales, is move it to the bales and they will sell. You can see up in the upper right hand corner I got paid. Now, if you're curious what the sell price is for those current items, you can go into here and it'll show up here, mobile bale sell point. That's the mobile selling station, which we're gonna talk about in a bit. But you can see the prices for different things in here, um, mobile bale sell point that you're getting when you sell them here. So it works just like a sell point in that way. Um, so that is how the mobile bale sell point works. Now, if we move on to the mobile wood sell point, again, it's inside here. We go to production, selling points. You can place it down, it's $500 to move it around. Now, this is essentially your ability to sell wood. You can also sell wood chips here, I should note. So if I did take these wood chips that I have here, I can back up to it. I believe this is the only bulk item you can dump into it to sell to it. There we go. And just like that, you can see in the upper right-hand corner, I'm getting paid for my wood chips. So there we go. Taking the wood chips, no big deal. Um, and again, that's the only bulk item I believe that this will take. So just be aware of that. All right, that's done. Now, if I wanted to sell this wood, I move it over here. It's not selling the wood right now. Well, that's because it works like any other 
wood cell point, except you're moving this to the wood instead of moving the wood to the cell point. I can't lift these logs, so I'd have to load these up in a trailer and take them to a sawmill somewhere. But I walk up to this, you can see up in the upper left-hand corner, it says R to sell wood. So I hit R, boom, it sold the wood off. And again, if I go into the menu, under wood chips, it's gonna show me what they're selling for here. Um, and again, wood chips, you can't sell at the mobile bale sell point as well. The reason for that is because there are wood chip bales that exist from poplars. Um, the mobile selling station will also take wood chips as well. So some of these kind of interlace or overlap, but they each have their own purpose. So this one, again, you just move it up to some wood and then you can sell the wood by doing that. Now, if we continue on to the mobile selling station, this is just the catch-all sell station right here. So I have some wheat in here that I wanna sell. I believe it's wheat, right? Yep, wheat in there that I wanna sell. All I have to do is either move this to wherever I want to, the benefit of this can go anywhere. So if I'm just like, well, I wanna sell this wheat off real quick. Let's move it up to that trailer, get in the back of here. And then I can just start selling that off. And again, you can see upper right hand corner, we're getting paid for it. If I wanted to know what I was getting paid for that wheat, I can go in here, mobile selling station. It'll show me that real quick right in there. And again, that's gonna be found under productions, selling points right there. You can place as many of these guys down as you want. Uh, if you really just want a bunch of them everywhere. So there we go, sold my wheat off. That one's pretty straightforward. You can put most bulk items into it. Um, so just like that, there you go. Um, now, as we continue on, we have this guy right here, which was added in the last update. This is the mobile wood warehouse, which is gonna be found under uh, production, under factories at the very end here. You can see right here, this little guy right here. Um, so you can put this wherever you want to. And I believe there are some color options as well. Yep, and an M, I can change the color. Maybe if it's gonna let me do it, there we go. I can change the color to whatever I'd like to on there, which is pretty cool. So I can place it down or as many of those down as I want to. Um, this thing, if we go, now I have a place. If I go into the production menu, you can see it shows up here. Now, I don't know how much this total this is gonna hold. Um, I put a little bit in there right now, but what you do with this is, again, these wood piles here, I can't pick these up or move them around. But if I bring this up next to them, and then I open my help menu, up there in upper left-hand corner, it says R to sell wood. So if I sell the wood, what that does, it puts it into this production chain just right here. Now you might say, well, what's the point of that? Well, the point of that is, let's say I have this here uh, carpentry factory that I would normally have to transport the wood to here to get it to take it into the carpentry factory. But let's say, I'm, I know right here I'm not very far from that, so it wouldn't be a big deal to transport the wood over there. Let's say I'm up in the mountains doing some forestry work and I want that wood to get down there. Well, I bring my container up there, move it next to the wood, hit R to get it inside here, and then if I go into here, I can change this to distributing, I could also sell it directly from here if I wanted to, but again, you're gonna probably take a, a cut there, so you probably just wanna use the mobile wood selling station if that's what you wanna do. But when I have this on uh, distributing, it's gonna distribute it down to this facility right here. Um, so if I just fast forward some time, you can see that it's taking it out of there, or it's taking it out of here. You can see 1084, and it's moving it here, 3404. It's slowly moving that over over there. So that's the benefit of doing that with the mobile uh, wood storage or mobile wood warehouse right there. And one final thing about the wood container here, the mobile wood warehouse, um, this thing will accept um, the containers from the Platinum DLC. So you can use those with this as well. Um, another final note as well, all of these sell points, the mobile wood container, the bale sell point, the mobile sell point, the wood sell point, and the um, basket that you move around to move different materials around your fields and such, all of those, when you load out or you save your game, exit the game and then load back in, they are going to reset to where you originally placed them since they essentially work like buildings. The same reason you can't strap them down. So um, just be aware of that. They are gonna reset to where they were before. But other than that, uh, but there you guys go. Hopefully that video was helpful. Um, I have had a lot of questions about how this works. Uh, so I wanted to kind of answer all those questions. And some of you guys may not know how this works or it might be kind of a foreign mod to you and um, it was something you're interested in using, but it seemed like there was a lot going on. But there you go, just a quick guide to teach you how to use this mod and why you should use it. So again, and this is for all platforms, you can lift and move these guys everywhere. So this is a big deal to kind of make your life a lot easier if you're playing Farming Simulator 22. So there you go. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.